Yeah. We're thrifting in Anaheim today. Yay. Finally meeting in, the, in real life. I'm really awkward. <laughs> You're fine. Hey, for this week's video, I did a little bit of thrifting. Just, just, a, just a, a smidge. I went thrifting with Anna from There She Goes. Super excited to meet her and hang out with her and chat and get to know each other. And it was a lot of fun and I was sad it, was, it had to end, but I'm glad I got to meet her. We went thrifting in Anaheim and I lost my train of thought. That's always wonderful. And I filmed a little bit of my thrifting with Anna. I filmed a little bit of my thrifting that I did yesterday as well. So I thought I'd show you guys my, my, little, my little thrifting journey. So there, there it is. You're gonna watch it now. I found a lot of things. A grandma purse. I really like that. And then this weird purse. I'm not sure if I want to get it because it's $13. And then some knickknacks and a pot. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> and this like 50s dress. Oh, oh. Like and then the here's Anna. Hello. <laughs> The rejects. This guy, some dolphins, and this sweater. The first place I met up with Anna was this place called Rare by Goodwill. It was a kind of interesting shop. It was interesting because I was curious of like their items in the shop. Like, did someone from Goodwill? grab the items that they thought were the cream of the crop and then like put them in that shop. They didn't have any vintage items there really. I was just really curious where they got their stuff. Anyways, we went there and I only got two items from that shop. So one of the items I got was just this America vinyl. I really like the band America and this is the Hearts record. So I'm excited to listen to that. And then I got this bag. I feel like it's made out of like alpaca or something. I don't know, it's kind of itchy and scratchy, but I thought it was kind of cute. And you know, uh, just an interesting bag to wear. It was also half off, so there's that. And then after that store, we went to a Goodwill. So at that Goodwill, I got a few more items. First item I found was this carpet bag. So when you pick up a bag and you know that it's very nicely made, and then you pick up another bag where it's kind of more cheaply made, yeah, this, this is a very nicely made bag. And it's by the brand Rane. I'll put it on the screen because I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know how old this purse is. I love walking down the street and looking like the grandma in Halloween Town. You know, the, the bag that she has where she pulls just a bunch of shit out. Yeah, I, I like that look. Next item I found was this dress from the 50s. It's by... Alco Jr. and it fits me very nicely. I'm super excited I found another dress from the 50s. And then I got a pot, it has dog hair on it, get out of here. I also got this pot, um, I don't know, it, it called to me, it was red, it had like a wooden handle, it was just like, Lee, buy me. It's by Montgomery Ward, so, and it's best cast aluminum. So I've been trying to find a lot of like vintage Christmas decor. So I found this little vintage rocking horse ornament. I thought he was quite dandy. So I got him. I'll name him Chad. I don't know why I picked Chad, but there's Chad. You could go right there, Chad. So that's one of the items that I found. And then I also found this uh, tinsel 
garland. I really bought it because I liked the the packaging of it. Um, the packaging is kind of falling apart, but I also liked the tinsel that was in it. It was really pretty. So I'm not sure what I should do. Should I decorate with like the box and use the tinsel? I I'm not entirely sure. I, I'd hate to throw away the box. All right, and then the last thrift store that we went to was like the Anaheim thrift store. I think that's what it's called. I found this little knitted sweater. At first I was like, oh, this is vintage because of the tag. And then I was confused and I was like, is it vintage though? I'm not sure. It's very cute. And then I asked on Instagram, is this vintage or not? And the majority said yes. So I'm going to say it is. I also got this in the kids section. It says Gulf Avenue. I don't know how to read that. I took Spanish in high school. Obviously I didn't learn much. <laughs> One thing I wish uh, American public schools did was teach children different languages at a younger age because you don't you have no idea how jealous I was of the foreign exchange students that I knew that went to my school that knew like 10 different languages. It says Eagles as well and then it says JP and it has Eagle on it and it's made in the USA. Then I found this rather large vintage me in the USA single stitch camo t-shirt. I wish it was a little bit smaller. I want to find a vintage camo shirt that's my size. I have not found one yet. And then I found this cool vintage seniors excellence in motion t-shirt from 1988. And this one's also made in the USA and single stitch and it's, it's a very nice, nice shirt. Then I also found this, I think it's from the 60s, hand crocheted made in Jiangsu, China, 100% cotton. And it's like a cute little vest, vest guy. And he has like a little clip and you can clip him up and do something like that. Here's another item I found in the kit section. Um, it's like a two piece made in the USA, Hawaii, Hawaiian shirt short set it fits me so i'm gonna wear it i don't care if it's for a child i found this rolf ski wear me in the usa 70s ski jacket i really like these 70s ski jackets i guess the kid section was really spicy that day because i also found this uh bomber jacket in the kid section it says frontier little league it has some baseball bats and a baseball it kind of fits me, kind of. I found another ski jacket, but this one I think is from the 60s based off of the style. Maybe 50s, I'm leaning more towards 60s, like maybe early 60s. But it's by White Stag and it's Ski Boutique by White Stag. And it's like this like quilted kind of ski jacket and it has like a metal zipper and then it has this cute little like belt very nice. I, I think I'm gonna keep it in my closet. It's an interesting piece. And at that thrift store, I found this like Arnell's mushroom, little like flour cookie jar. It's usually for like flour or sugar. And I've been wanting one of these. I don't think I'm gonna put it in my kitchen. I'll probably use it for something else. I found this 70s, this like leather tooled bag. It's funny because when I went to the Long Beach flea market with my friend, she was talking about how she wanted one with like mushrooms and i was like i just want to find one and i found one it's kind of weird how that always happens just like i was saying how i wanted bowling shoes in one of my videos and i've been like on the hunt for them and then i've been finding a lot of bowling shoes but they're all like men's bowling shoes and i found this pair of bowling shoes which is actually the kind of bowling shoes i wanted kind of they're like rentals they're not vintage but still blonde shoes. I'm still gonna wear them. Don't you jump on that table. Come here. I thought we'd do a little dog break because we haven't had one of those in a while. Come here. Can you see her? Now I'm gonna show you guys what I found at the thrift stores from yesterday. I went to two thrift stores. I went to like a very small mom and pa thrift shop and then I went to a Salvation Army one. At the, the mom and pa one was the first thrift store that I went to. I found this Moreau Bay, California sweater that's made in the USA and look at that little seal. He's such a good boy. Sorry for the weird voice. It's a little big though. I wish it was a little bit smaller. And then the rest of the items I got were just little knickknack thingy mabobbers. I 
I found this really nicely made purse. Again, this is one of those purses where like you can tell. It, it's just very nicely made. And it's by Frenchie of California, May in the USA. And then I just got a pair of like white Converse that are in my size. And then I got this umbrella, mainly because I'm pretty positive it's from like the 50s. It has this really pretty like handle, but it has like a cool little chain too that you can like put around your wrist and you know, bat people with. Don't, don't, don't do that. I was thinking I could use it as like a parasol if I like go out and about and it's sunny outside and I want to protect the skin. I found these like flour, sugar, kind of containers. I found three of them. Most of the time when I find these kind of things, um, I either find one or two. Now I have three and I have a nice little set that I can put in my kitchen. Oh, and these are from Gladmark Burbank, California. And I just like how they're very mid-century Danish kind of style. They kind of go with my whole vibe. I'm gonna be like Gus Gus and try and put these things down. I found some belts that you can put like a belt buckle to and I have some belt buckles. So I've been actually looking for these kind of belts. This one fits me perfectly and it's by the brand Tony Llama. This one I really liked too and it's made in the USA and it has like these really cute little hearts on it but this one doesn't fit me unfortunately which is sad. So that's all I found at the little mom and pa thrift store. Now I'm going to move on to the stuff that I found at Salvation Army. I'll start with like the little knickknack stuff first. I found this Garfield mug and this is the last one I needed for my whole set. I'm very excited about these shoes and it's by the brand Papagallo, if I'm saying that right. But they're super cute and they have like the little crossover lace detail that was really popular in the 60s and then it came back in like 2015 I would say. Then I found this really interesting bag. I think someone made it. I don't know how old it is. It kind of seems pretty old. And then the last little knickknack that I have is my favorite. So I just found this needlepoint like yarn embroidered little scene of some hot air balloons and the person that made it his name is Bobby so thank you Bobby for this lovely piece now I'm gonna move on to clothes I found this made in the USA United States Navy hoodie and it just looks so comfy and warm and nice and made in the USA vintage -y. yeah mm -hmm. I also found this like 80s McGregor USA windbreaker. That was kind of cool. It says USA Athletics on the front little patch right here too. Then I found one of these like 90s little flower dresses and it has like the lace up in the back. And I really like this style. They just look very, very nice on the body. They're very flattering, okay? Then I found this dress from the 70s that's kind of like that towel kind of texture and it's a really pretty like burnt orange and has like slits on the sides. Then I found this very thick vintage long john type long sleeve. I really like this shirt. It's just a plain vintage single stitch t-shirt but it's super soft and just the perfect material to put your body in. I got this sweater. I don't know if this is vintage or not. It kind of looked vintage. I'm pretty positive someone handmade this. I think it's vintage based off of like the buttons that they use. I just don't know how old it is. And then the last item I have is another USA thing. I, I found a lot of USA things at the Salvation Army. I found this US Army little long sleeve button up and I'm pretty positive this is from like the 60s based off of like the little patch. So those are all the items that I thrifted. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and my thrift with me. Let me know which piece was your favorite. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's totally free. And don't forget to check out my Instagram. I have links for it down below and both of my Etsy's. I have a silversmithing Etsy where I sell my jewelry and I have a vintage Etsy where I sell some of my vintage items. It's completely free. 
it costs no money to do it completely free it's free there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys later bye what was that sound why am i weird <laughs> people are like what are they doing <laughs>